In 1921, Tulsa, Oklahoma's Greenwood District, known as Black Wall Street, was a prosperous African-American community. However, a racially charged report in the Tulsa Tribune about an alleged assault by a black man, Dick Rowland, on a white woman, Sarah Page, led to severe racial violence. Over two days, 35 city blocks were destroyed, 300 people died, and 800 were injured, driven by white mobs and cited by the defense of white female virtue. Greenwood was a self-sufficient, thriving community, established intentionally by wealthy African-American O.W. Gurley in 1906. It had banks, hotels, and other businesses, with a remarkable school system and even six black families owning planes, a rarity at the time. This prosperity, however, fueled jealousy and resentment among less affluent white neighbors, leading to the violent events. The massacre was a result of multiple factors, including racial hostility, economic jealousy, and media misrepresentation. The police and local government played roles in exacerbating the situation, with the police force deputizing whites and arresting blacks without due process. The media, including the Tulsa World Newspaper, inflamed tensions, often portraying the black community negatively and suggesting KKK intervention. The underlying causes of the massacre included rapid demographic changes, economic threats perceived by whites, and the effects of segregation, which, while benefiting black businesses, also limited their opportunities. The Greenwood District was seen as a challenge to white supremacy and American capitalism, which historically favored a white elite. Despite the destruction, the Greenwood District was rebuilt but never regained its former prominence, especially after integration during the civil rights era. The events in Tulsa illustrate the challenges faced by African Americans in a socioeconomic system structured to maintain white dominance.